Hi, my name is Bob. I'm making a video of a demonstration of lemon point of sale. I'm going to make a big red L on the screen and easy stroke will bring up the program. This is the uh, sign in screen, username and password. I'm going to put in admin and Linux and then for each user you would put in another name and then that user's picture will appear here. This is the main screen. It hasn't started up yet. These things are blanked out down here until you start up the program. You have to put money in the cash drawer. I'll put 500 fictitious dollars in. Now everything comes up. All these items over on the left you can either go over them and then hit enter or you can use the shortcut equivalent which is a function key control key or an alt key and you can change all of those to your liking to any key with this configuration program do a right click and configure the toolbars and you can change them all around any way you want you can put all of this stuff on the top or on the bottom or on the right. I prefer having all of it here on the left. And the ones that I've got up here are the ones that I want up here. You don't even have to have them up there. When you sell an item in a store, you can use a barcode reader with a laser and beep the tag that's on your item. You can even get a Bluetooth barcode reader with a repeater and go out in the parking lot and scan the 17 digit alphanumeric vehicle identification number if you have a car repair business. One way you can, another way you can enter in stock is up here and you can put in a quantity of items. For example, you could put in four times item number eight enter. So I've got item number eight and I got four brake hoses. If I want five I tap it again. Now I've got five. If I change my mind and want to go back to three I can delete selected items by using control minus sign or just tapping here once, twice, now I'm back to three. If I tapped it three more times, the item would be gone. Another way you can enter stock up here, instead of putting in numbers, quantities and numbers, you can put in, uh, I have one with a designator front brake pad. And then I hit enter, and there it is. Front brake pad is also code number one. And if I want to get rid of it, again, I go back over here and deselect the item. There's still yet another way you can add items. There are a whole bunch of, there are a whole bunch of uh, icons. Each item has a picture. And you, you can put in your own pictures. These are generic ones you can just tap on an item. Now this is just a comment. It has no dollar value. I can also put in items that are labor only with no tax or I can put in physical items which are taxed with sales tax. In Texas that is six and a quarter for the state, two for the city for a total of eight and a quarter. There's another way to put in items. You can group them together. Here where you can see some items grouped. Let's say you have a convenience store and you sell Cokes individually. You could have one Coke or you could tap like this and you have a whole bunch of Cokes. In this case I have a $323 group of items called a uh, front brake job which consists of pads and this and that and the other. I just made these up for demonstration purposes. 
but say for instance you've got a hamburger place and you sell a hamburger individually but you also have a special which is hamburger fries and one coke and you could group them together like that after you're done with putting in all of your items you will collect money here I have four hundred twenty two dollars and you have a choice of getting cash or credit card the credit card here is credit card number and authorization let's say cash and uh, the fella gives me uh, five one hundred dollar bills and I give him change of seventy seven dollars as soon as I hit enter it says it wants to print a receipt and I'm having it pause before doing so and I can print to file PDF and where is it going to print right there I can change where it's going to print uh, let's put it on the desktop and I'll call this uh, receipt 1 receipt 2 save and I printed it to the desktop when you're done for the day you quit and when you do so program has end of the report and it says print balance there is a configuration program that comes along with this it's called squeeze I have that set up with an S you can have lemon and squeeze running simultaneously if you want this is the program where you buy items from the wholesaler and put them into stock adjust inventory and then make reports based on how well you are doing and again there are a whole bunch of different things you can do with it you can run a very simple business or you can get rather complex uh, if you want to be very simple for instance you'll put in an overabundance of numbers for things you have in stock you can buy things in bulk you can buy things in liquid you can buy things in uh, different size quantities a six pack pair uh, quartz anything you want to do it's a general purpose program and it is made not specifically for any one industry but is quite adaptable and it appears to be useful enough to use for anything except the most large-scale business it's absolutely free it's a work in progress I cannot say whether or not uh, it would be useful for you in your industry you'd have to test it and see I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos my name is Pop